It's time for Carter and Norma to go. They've been plotting against me. King with our business. Tariq, you'll have to take out Carter. Tired of those motherfuckers that can stand against me. What you gonna do now, Tariq? What's up, fuck ass niggas? This your boy Jay Miles, and I am back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share with your lad friends. On today's video, we will be covering Power, Power, Book 2 Ghost, and this one right here is titled The Final Betrayal Part 3. The Death of the Tejada Family. Now, I know this one right here is big for a lot of people. Because maybe a lot of y'all probably don't believe that this could possibly happen. Well, I'm here to tell y'all, these last niggas, that I think it is indeed a possibility. So, I had to explore if it did, was to happen. How could I possibly see this one plan out? So it's a multitude of different things that I think can take place. And after, you know, doing some digging, you know, um, and thinking on the best possible way that they could potentially have this one play out, I've come up with this. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this video. Now, right here, I have the episode 9 synopsis, just like the other one on part 1. And it reads, a union that should be bring the Tejadas and Noma together couldn't appear to be further apart. Tariq and Monet are sent on a seemingly simple mission. They find it to be much more than meets the eye. So basically, they're telling us that... They're going to be sent on a mission. And then with the mission, basically, that it's not going to go as planned. Pretty much as what they're telling us. And, oh, were they right? Because if it's going to play out anywhere the way I'm seeing it playing out on this particular video, that plan ain't going to go right. But anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and start this thing off. With your boy Glad Don Carter. So, the reason why I'm starting this off with this scene from episode 8, at the end of episode 8, is that, as we all know, um, Noma and Carter formed an alliance at the end of this episode. As I prefer to it, the most hideous alliance in the power history. In the history of power. I don't think we've seen nobody this ugly form together to go against our, you know, our peeps. I don't think we've seen that in the original power. We haven't seen it in Razor Cannon, to my knowledge. Like, you know, ugly old two ugly people coming together to try to take them down. I don't think I've ever seen that. But I'm pretty much I'm not thinking super hard on it. But, you know. Um, but anyways... The reason why this is important is because I believe this is definitely going to have a negative effect on your boy Kane. Because as we know, Kane is not going to be thrilled that Noma is choosing to work with a dirty cop. Not only the, a dirty cop, the dirty cop that, you know, was holding Monet and them, um, you know, hostage. And, of course... The same one that's, um, you know, the same organization that was behind beating up his baby sister. Kane is not going to be with it, and I can guarantee you he's going to have some pushback. But anyways, next, we're going to go ahead and get to more, digging more into the plan, right? Because we can kind of see in the trailer, you can hear David's voice saying, Tariq, you take, you're going to have to take out Carter, Right? So with him saying that, that must be him, him, I'm guessing Monet and Tariq 
staging their plan on what it is they're going to do in order to try and take down this dangerous organization, right? So this is what I see happening. Tariq takes out Carter. Monet is going to deal with Noma. And I believe Davis is going to try to work his magic in between to try to stop the wedding. Because I think what's going to be essential for them is, you know, Monet obviously is, isn't going to want Kane married to Noma because that is a very dangerous play. And I, you, you could simply just see Noma using Kane. And then once she's gotten the usefulness out of her, out of him, I mean, she's probably going to just simply, you know, throw him away because she wouldn't have no more use for him. And she probably would see him as a loose end as well. She don't want no competitors. I mean, look look what she did to her other ex-husband. Think about that. So, that's a very dangerous play for Kang. And I think Kang will agree after this. I believe that there's very much possible that there will be a scene where Kang and Effie will have a moment and speak with each other. Now, I'm still not convinced all the way that that scene where, you know, we've seen Effie, you know, having her moment with either her or with either Kane or Tariq. I'm still not 100% sold that's Kane. It could be Tariq. But either way, the thing is, is I think Effie is going to care enough for Kane that she's going to say, she's going to tell him that, hey, this is a very dangerous play because she killed her last husband in order to gain, you know, to get more financial gain. And that one, that guy was the father of her child. And I think after hearing that, it could very much change the way Cain sees these things to the point that he has to move differently, right? And with that being said, I think after him hearing that, Kane will probably decide to, because I can see Effie maybe staging the plan. And she'll be like, look, I know a plan that we could do that could help you get away from under this. You can still get the organization possibly and still make it out of this alive. But it's going to require us to work with Tariq. Now, if Kane can swallow his pride and let his hate go for Tariq, you know what I'm saying? Then they can help. He can be in on this plan that could possibly save his life and maybe even his family's life as well, right? So, next, we go ahead and get to the plan. Now, if you haven't seen my episode, I mean, my part two of um, the final betrayal where I was talking about Nico working with Tariq, I would very much advise you go ahead and watch that video because I'm, it, it would explain some of this right here because I'm not going to really double back and explain what's going on here. But long story short, I think Effie's going to be working with Tariq and help him get, help get some leverage on, um, leverage on Carter. So, you know, they can know exactly where he's worried about so that they can take him out when the time comes. So, I think Carter will indeed probably go to his normal routines where he go, you know, and make his confessions with the, with the priest, tell them that he's still doing God's work, even though he ain't as hell, and, um, you know, letting them know, confessing his, his sins in the way that he may see it, and I think it's very much possible on his way in that Tariq will have the drop on him due to the plan that Effie and potentially Nico has set up for him. So on his way to the confession booth, he's in there waiting on the priest and just to find out that there's no one there waiting for him except for your boy Tariq St. Patrick. So, once Tariq gets him and, um, you know, catches him slipping and gets the drop on him, right? 
I can very much see Tariq ultimately capturing him, which is where I think we're going to get this image here from. And after he captures him, he's going to go and hold him hostage and try to potentially get leverage off him, probably trying to get get hold to that tape that he has, you know, that's, that's incriminating him with the murder of Zion, probably trying to also get, maybe get some kind of leverage to get um, him away from that murder of Felicia Lewis, right? But, you know, I think Carter will have his own ace in the hole as well, because I think after being captured, he's probably going to come with the He's probably going to go ahead and realize that, you know what, I'm probably not going to make it out of this. So, let me just go ahead and be ugly and play my final play. And he probably had somebody set up already on their way to go take out Tasha in case something happens. Like, I'm thinking, I can't exactly put my finger on how he's going to do this. But I do think that he may potentially have somebody with eyes on Tasha. And he's going to let Tariq know that, you know, I'm say bye to your mama. And then that is obviously going to piss him off. He's probably going to go ahead and take Carter out. And then try to rush over to see his mom just to find out that she is already you know already met her in and that is going to blow Tariq's mind you know he's going to be pissed off after this but next we're going to go ahead and get to the wedding right now you can kind of look at Noma Noma kind of looks like she's fake you know what I'm saying with this hug right here she looked like she just got some stage for him that you know she's full of crap and I think it is possible that maybe Noma, you know what I'm saying, could be um, plotting to take out Cain after a certain part of the ceremony. It's possible. Or Cain could just know that, you know, this is not going to end well for me. So let me go ahead and take this, take her out before you know, she ends up taking me out. So, next, we're going to go ahead and get to Cain speaking with, of course, his, his family, his siblings here. And I believe that Jew, because it's crazy to see them having a happy moment like this, right? Because um, you see Jew and Cain um, looking like they're actually happy. And we, you know, we haven't really seen them smiling and happy with each other for quite a while now. Because, you know, they've been going at each other's neck. But I think that they're going to ultimately decide, you know, family first, of course. So Cain is in trouble. Drew is going to, you know, go ahead and let that crap that's been going on between them go. And... Go along with the plan. So he, they're probably going to have it staged that, look, we're going to have to take Noma out here and there or it's going to get ugly. It's going to either be her or us. So that's when the all-out war probably will take place. Maybe that's where we get this shootout going on between Kane, I mean, Drew and, and Diana here. And, of course, they're... They're uh, ambushing them, catching them by surprise, because maybe none of them are going to even be armed. You know what I'm saying? So they can just easily take out a lot of them. And I think in the midst of this, that's probably what we're going to also get this image for. They're going to be hunting down Noma. And um, whether or not they get her or not, I'm not exactly sure. You haven't quite made my final pick on that yet but i do think they're gonna have you know they're gonna stage their own plan on how to deal with this situation so it's gonna be very much like a, a, a red 
a red wedding version of you know powers version of the, the red wedding just like game of thrones it's gonna be a very brutal and bloody wedding i feel like and it seems like everything's gonna be going to plan but i believe that it is very much possible that detective carter is gonna be so dang on ugly that he is going to make it seem to Tariq that it was indeed none other than Monet who was behind the death of his mother and that she found out about her taking them shots at her and ultimately decided to get revenge. Tariq's probably going to be so emotional and angry that he's not going to stink it through and his first thoughts is going to be, I'm going to take them out. And that's probably what we get in the trailer where he said, I'm tired of these mother elfers thinking they can elf and stand up against me. He's probably talking about the Tahadis. Because think about it. Who has he been constantly having conflicts with throughout the entirety of this series? It's been the Tahadis. And keep in mind, in the beginning he was saying, you know, Noma. Jew, what he said, Cain, Jew, all these effort got to get it. You know what I'm saying? And he had, his plan was to take them out eventually. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what he wanted. But, of course, with the pregnancy of Diana, he ultimately decided not to do it. But, I think with the t- passing of Tasha, all of that goes out the window. He's like, F all of that. I'm about to take them out. So his plan is filling up Monet's car with the gasoline. And to keep in mind, Tariq knew about the plan because they were all on the same team, right? So with them all being on the same team, he's going to fill that car up with gasoline. And knowing that after they execute their plan to take out Noma and ultimately escape, that Monet's car was the escape plan, right? So they probably were all planning to jump into Monet's car and drive off after they, you know, ultimately took out Noma. But, boom! In the midst of as soon as they crank the car up to try and make their getaway, the entire family of the Tejada legacy is gonna go up in smoke. Cause when she cranks that car, it's gonna explode, taking out their entire family. So that means if this is true, we will get, man, <laughs> but they, they four big bodies in one day out of here that would be crazy right four big bodies the entire Tahada family wiped out in one big explosion from Tariq Zane Badger so and if that if I'm also right about Carter and Tasha that would be six in one episode now I am not saying that obviously 100% that this is going to happen. Obviously. But I could see it happen. Like this would be crazy. Six big bodies. And keep in mind this is the final season. So they got to be eliminating a lot of these people off the chessboard. Because I believe at this point Davis is probably going to be already gone too. So there would be seven actually. Seven in one episode. And then may, let's just go ahead and say Noma survived. And then the final battle will be getting rid of Noma at the end. And maybe Tariq need a little bit more help with that. But anyways, I, if that was to happen, I could see, you know, Tariq going back to Effie, his day one. And they, moment, they have their moment. And ultimately, they ride off into the sunset, people. How did y'all like to see this story? I'm just saying. I can see it happening. 
I don't know. It's probably a lot of glad niggas hating disagreeing right now. But hey, I'm just saying, I can see it happening to glad niggas. But more confirmation that I think is possible that this right here could be to read is that we seeing multiple images with Brayden and, and Effie together. And I believe Brayden and Effie isn't going to be working close for, uh, beside each other like this unless Tariq and, and um, Effie are back cool. That's the only way I probably see it happen. I mean, Effie, I mean, Brayden has worked with, um, you know, Effie and um, Kane and them by himself before. But more than likely, I believe, um, you know, it's possible that Brayden and Effie is back cool. But pretty much that's all I got for y'all. As for this particular video, definitely let me know what y'all thinking up in these comments and glad niggas because as y'all can see, that will be a very, very explosive, and I mean explosive, an action-packed episode for this episode nine. And if it goes anywhere near the magnitude of what I just explained, then this could potentially become one of the best, if not the best, episode in the history of the power universe. But, you know, it may very much not happen, but I'm just saying, it could happen like that. So definitely let me know what do y'all think. Could you see any of this, um, you know, playing out? And if you agree with some of it, let me know what you agree with and what you didn't agree with. How could you see it coming, uh, playing out? Definitely let me know in the comments. But, uh, you know, like usual, if you're cool with me, fool with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share with your glad friends. But until the next video, I'm out.